the present problem considered is of uh, gate uh, 2008 and it is of two marks and it is based on uh, frequency modulation. Okay, we'll read out the problem first. Uh, consider the frequency modulation signal 10 cos 2 pi into 10 power 5 t plus 5 sine 1500 t plus 7.5 sine 2 pi into 1000 t with carrier frequency of 10 power 5 hertz the modulation index is and there are four options given for the modulation index and uh, you have to find uh, which is the right option. So basically this problem is uh, on frequency uh, modulated signal uh, on frequency modulation and uh, here the frequency modulated signal is uh, given uh, with the known carrier frequency and uh, modulating signals and uh, one has to find the modulation index. So this is the problem and uh, we'll see this problem step by step. So let us start uh, with the solution of this problem. Say it's, uh, it's a given in the problem itself that uh, frequency modulated signal is given as psi fm equals to 10 cos 2 pi 10 power 5 t plus 5 sine 2 pi into 1500 t plus 7.5 sine of 2 pi into 1000 t. So this is the complete expression for the frequency modulated signal. Uh, we can uh, find here uh, this part first part here represents the carrier frequency although the carrier frequency is also given here 10 per 5 hertz so this is carrier frequency and the second and third terms represent the modulating signals so modulation index is uh, given by delta F over FM modulating frequencies where delta F is the maximum frequency deviation so we should be able to find maximum frequency deviation and F is FM is the maximum modulation frequency okay so we can uh, determine uh, the value now uh, here the first term in the bracket uh, represents a carrier and second and third are modulation frequencies we have already considered it now this is representing the delta theta term that the uh, phase uh, which can change or the frequency which can change so delta theta is given here with this term this second and third term this gives me the delta theta delta delta theta is given by psi phi sine 2 pi 1500 t plus 7.5 sine 2 pi into 1000 t now we can find delta omega that is d theta by dt the instantaneous uh, 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 frequency so you just take the derivative of this so you get this expression 5 into 2 pi the cos of this and this is the derivative of the above term now if you have to find uh, maximum deviation you should be able to find the uh, delta omega maximum that is 2 pi into uh, this terms cos pi terms would be 1 so this term comes out to 7500 this also second term also 7500 so delta f we can find out delta omega maximum over 2 pi so it comes to 15000 hertz 15000 hertz uh, is the frequency uh, this is the uh, frequency the maximum frequency deviation that is 15000 hertz once we know the maximum frequency deviation we can find the value for beta beta is maximum frequency deviation over the modulating frequency and modulating frequency here if you notice uh, the expression 
you would find that the modulating frequency consists of two parts. Uh, one is uh, uh, sine of uh, 1500T, that is there is one part is 1500 hertz and other part consists of 1000 uh, hertz. Other part is, so there are two modulating frequencies, 15 hertz and 1000 hertz. And uh, while finding the value for beta, we have to take the maximum modulating frequency. That means 15,000 over 1500. So that comes out to be 10. So uh, this is corresponding to option B here. This is 10. This is option B. This is coming to 10. That is option B. So the right choice is option B for this uh, problem. That means uh, the modulation index is uh, 10 for this problem. Thank you.